been a while. So, yeah, so I just, I'm already getting off track. This It's the end of the day. This is where I am. So, I was just watching the most recent episode of the College Lifter Show, which is about accessory work, and Will did a great job with that, doing it by himself, because I'm not there. And I think Ryan was doing some kind of a half marathon or some absolutely horrible run thing, and he was talking about all the things we're doing on the show and me doing the vlogs and how great I'm doing with them, and I was like, yeah, I haven't done one in like a couple of weeks. So guilt trip, I figured I probably should. You like my hair? It's like a complete mess right now. This is what happens when you do GHDs really fast. It just goes everywhere. So I just got home from the gym training session. We did a, we looked for a five rep max um, strict press. So no re-dip, no help whatsoever, just your arms. And I did five for at 75 pounds took two tries. The first time I only got to like two and the second time I managed to get all five. Which is kind of why my rule comes into play. If you're ever finding a max of any kind, you never give up after the first one. I have a three strike rule. I always try wait three times before I'm like, yep, nope, not happening. Because honestly, sometimes it's just you trying to get used to the movement pattern and the first time you don't know how much you need to put into it because you probably haven't lifted it before in whatever capacity. And so sometimes it takes a few getting used to it and you actually, you have the strength to do it. You just kind of got to figure out where you need to do and what you need to do. So that was today. That was fun. And appropriately, he was talking about accessory work, which I just changed up. I'm doing bent over rows two times a week, uh, back extensions weighted two times a week, and still keeping in with the strict ring dips. Oh, oh, exciting news. I'm not posting this video because it looks really awful, but trust me, it's, it's there and it exists. We were just chilling yesterday, and I'd already done all my accessory work, which meant my arms were already kind of blown out and whatnot. And the accessory work for the gym, just programmed as a whole, involves just working on strict muscle-ups transitions. And if you know anything about me, you figured out that I'm kind of a strict girl. I can't figure out keeping anything to save my life. I don't know why. It, it just it makes more sense. I can see the movements. If you do it strict, you just pull and you push. There's nothing difficult about that. So I was like, you know what? Might as well try this. I'll try this. I'll see what happens. Strict muscle. Why not? And I actually pretty much got it. I was to about here. Like I said, I'd already done about like 12 strict dips, so my arms were kind of blown out. So I wasn't really getting past there, but I was able to pull myself up, get past the sticking transition point, and halfway in through the dip. So, somewhere in there I have muscle ups, that's an exciting development. And I'm trying to think if there's been anything else like really exciting in my world that I haven't filled you in on in a while. I don't think so, it's just been a ton of like, work. It's just been work guys. It's probably why I haven't posted anything and anything in forever. Cause it's just getting that really crazy stressful part of the semester. Seven weeks, smash number six, seven, and you're like full sprint ahead. I'm trying to send out resumes because I graduate and I want to have a job when I graduate and that's kind of scary. I think I have like nine floating out there right now. So if you happen to know anybody looking for a designer in Atlanta, Orlando, or I actually have one in Tampa, let me know. Yeah. Okay. So I'm probably going to, I'm, I'm starting to get boring. And I'm hungry. I am always hungry these days. Like, peanut butter is my best friend. I'm probably going to go eat a spoonful of peanut butter. And that will keep me from eating the rest of the sour conversation hearts that are left over from Valentine's. Because those are a weakness of mine. Thankfully, you can only get them once a year. That, it, tangent again. Not really a tangent. Anyways, that and the Starburst jelly beans that come out for Easter, and they're in the stores. They already had them out before Valentine's, which kind of annoys me when they do that, but whatever. So that'll be happening at some point. Haven't gotten them yet, but those two things are like my seasonal weaknesses, and it's just really good they're not available all year round. Obviously, I like sweets. My Christmas abbot uh, cupcakes and kettlebells. We had 100 kettlebell swings for time. I said I was done, and I'm still going on. Sorry, that happens a lot. <laughs> so 100 kettlebell swings for time. That was not fun. But... I'm like all hyper because it was a good workout. It was fun. I'm trying to avoid sugar, but I want sugar. We'll see how that goes. Well, no, okay. It's Wednesday and my cheat day is like Saturday. So really, I can make it like three days, right? Right? You think I can make it three days? I think I can make it three days. 
yeah, we're going to make it three days. I can do this. I am a strong woman. I just want cupcakes all the time. Anyways, willpower. Have it. So, I'm going to go, and I'm going to, oh, okay, another random thought. I keep the, um, Blue Diamond has their flavored almonds, and I keep, like, a small container of, like, the honey cinnamon ones all the time. I think it flipped out again. Anyways, because if I find myself reaching for something sweet, I'll just eat, like, two or three of those, and it kind of satisfies it because it has that sweetness to it. All right. Enough of my random thoughts for the day. I think I'm actually going to go this time. Yeah, I'm going to go because I need to take a shower because I'm kind of gross and disgusting because workout. All right. See y'all later.